Here's how to be born again. I want to share this briefly because I don't want to assume anything, and I'll tell you why in a moment. First of all, the Bible says we must believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus did it all on the cross, but this is our faith response. This is how we receive the grace that he offers. The Bible says everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. Have you believed in Jesus as the Son of God? Secondly, the Bible says we must repent of our sins. That means to turn. That's why Peter said, repent then and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. Have you turned from your sins? Have you asked God to forgive you? Third, the Bible says we must invite Christ into our heart. He's not going to barge his way in. He's not going to force his way in. But in Revelation 3.20, he says, Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him and he with me. A lot of people have believed in Jesus, and some people have even repented of their sins and asked for forgiveness, but they've never asked Jesus into their heart. One of them was sitting where you sit in the last service. They're a member of this church. They said, you know, I don't think I've ever asked Jesus into my heart, but I did today. You can't assume anything. You can't assume that everybody knows the answers. These may seem very simple, straightforward, basic steps, but there are people walking around who are uh, not quite fulfilled in their response to Jesus, who are missing some great blessings in their life. Number four, confess our faith in Christ publicly. The Bible asks us to confess our faith in Christ publicly. Here's where a lot of people get suddenly very, very shy. You want me to do what? You want me to go up in front of everybody and acknowledge Jesus as my Savior? Couldn't we just handle this matter privately? No. Jesus died for you publicly, and he wants you to stand for him publicly. And if you can't stand for him publicly in this friendly group called the church that exists for that very reason for you making that decision, how are you going to stand for him out there in the world? You need to make a public decision, a public profession. And this isn't something I'm making up or that it's my own opinion. Romans 10.9 says, If you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Jesus said, If you confess my name before men, I will confess your name before my Father in heaven. Have you made a public profession of your faith in Jesus as the Son of God? Maybe that's a missing step in your life. The Bible then says we need to be baptized as a sign of our new faith, a declaration to all the world that our sins have been washed away and that we have been reborn, born again. Romans 6, 4 says, We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that we too may live a new life. Jesus says new birth is yours for the asking. Is there some missing step here in your life? Maybe you can... Where you're at today, ask Jesus to uh, forgive your sins. You can believe in him where you're at, but you need to make that faith public. You need to be baptized. You need to walk with Jesus and let his spirit guide and direct your life. You must be born again, Jesus says, so why not get on the road further today?